thank you to our uh, to our mayors. Uh, thank you for the incredible leadership that you exhibit every day, uh, the partnership and and the friendship uh, in in times that are trying, but uh, times that let us see a brighter future together. To our legislators who are on here again, thank you, and I I too would echo Matt's sentiment. Um, with Senator Hayden. Um, I have learned much from Senator Hayden. Um, I have watched him navigate uh, some of our most challenging issues and do it with, uh, with dignity, with passion, and, and with a sense of humor. Um, and to our judicial branch who's here, um, again, working closely on, on so many issues. And our, uh, our champion of change, David Lillehog. Uh, I don't think there's a person on this call who hasn't been impacted positively by uh, interactions with, with Justice Lillehog, and, and I, for one, am, am forever grateful. And a, a special good morning to, um, to all of our debaters. Um, it, it's an honor for me to be here with you. I told Gwen when she got me involved in speech and debate, and I was, of course, coaching football and those types of things, and, and I just remember the first thing leaving one of those rooms after the first time I was judging is, we need to do this in the middle of the football field so that everyone can see how simply amazing it is um, that each and every one of these folks do every day. And, and Matt is right. We know what the research shows, that uh, students involved in debate have uh, higher success rates, higher GPAs. They take more advanced placement classes, and, um, and their acceptance rates into college are higher. Uh, those things we can check with the data is on. But all of us on here also know the doors that it opens and uh, not just in the world for careers, but in our minds. Um, and again, we're all competitive. We, we want to win, but we know that debating is not about winning. It's, it's about the art of persuasion. It's about problem solving together. And it, it's about perspective. Um, the best debaters live in the moment. And instead of thinking about what they're going to say next, they're truly focused on what the person they're debating is saying. Um, and I think it's a lost art right now. I think as we take on the, these challenges that are around us, um, there's a desire to take a point of view and to stick with it no matter what. And, and as Matt said, um, to do the research necessary, to look at the evidence. And as I always say, if, if the facts dispute my ideology, you change the ideology. And, and that is part of the problem solving. So um, I'm just so excited for all of you. And I, I do want to say to Amy and this entire team, in an incredibly challenging year, finding a way to keep students engaged, finding a way to have meaningful interactions um, is so difficult and you are doing it. And, and I, for one, am, am incredibly grateful. And so of all the things we learn in debate, resiliency is one of them. 2020 is teaching all of us about resiliency and um, about the importance of what you're doing. And I do think the topic on, on health equity, again, you always look for timely topics. I'm not sure we could have found a better one. Um, we are at the epicenter of the greatest health crisis the world has seen in maybe a hundred years. Um, we are also focused at the epicenter of the highest infection rates that the world has seen during this pandemic right in our backyard. Um, the impact on individuals, on communities, on families, on caregivers, on students um, will impact this nation for generations to come. It will be written about. And to have you focusing in the moment on the issue of health equity and how that has been exacerbated by um, the pandemic is absolutely critical because you are one way or another, it is inevitable. You are going to be shaped by 2020. And what you take away from this um, is the opportunity to, to learn from this, for us to find new ways of approaching problem solving and for us to look at a brighter future. So I wish you all the best and, and all of us on here know that, that those doors that debates opened, you'll never know where they'll lead you. Um, and you may even with supremely bad luck and bad karma end up being governor, but uh, that's a door that will open for you with debate. So thank you all. And I wish you all a great day. Governor, before you go, could I yes. ask a question? This is Gwen. Could sure. I ask a question? Um, could you comment on the fact that probably the reason you are governor is because of everything I taught you about speech and debate earlier <laughs> in the speech and career? Would you like to comment on that? 
I've already conceded that point many years ago. We don't need to go back on that. I've given that point. Okay, well then I'm gonna go one further. In our daily debates, who would you say is the better debater? You or me? I think we need independent judges to uh, to bring that to a close, but it, it is, they are heated and, and they are fact-based. Um, I, I will not deny that the passion is always there, but um, I wish you all the best. Um, certainly uh, grateful for the opportunity to be with you.